Well, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. It's the second fight of the night for KSI, and it is the main event of the evening. KSI, 29 years old, six foot tall, weighed in at 180 pounds. The professional boxer, Luis Pineda, brings in a two and five record. He started his career off two and one, but he has lost four in a row. Can he rebound and beat a man that's already had one fight tonight? We are about to find out. Back inside the ring and Mr. Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Part two of the double rumble of the night here at the O2 Arena London. Let's bring the fighters to the ring. Coming out first, El Flaco de Oro, Luis Alcaraz Pineda. He's got the Lucha Libre mask on. Nice touch. Do you want to give people some context for that? Because a lot of people maybe. Uh... Maybe he's Nacho Libre. <laughs> From Mexico, all the luchadors or professional wrestlers, at least many of them, wear those masks. They prefer to be anonymous, unknown. But Pineda doesn't have that option. He'll be more famous tonight than he'll ever be in his entire life, mask or no mask. And even more famous if he can somehow pull off the stunner by beating KSI in his hometown. I will give him one thing. He's a he's a tall guy. He may not be big and tall, but he is certainly going to have a little bit of an attribute there for JJ to contend with. So that gives me a little bit of hope uh, for a more interesting contest, for sure. He says he's got that Mexican heart, that Mexican fire. And if you know anything about boxing, you know Mexicans, win or lose, give you everything they've got. Yeah, the legendary Canelo Alvarez to testify to that. Love this intro. KSI about to make the walk for the second time. It's like those old K-1 battles you saw. First in influencer boxing history. Two fights, one night. Doesn't seem to have a care in the world. Every cell phone in this arena is out right now. Mate, we're dealing with a superstar here for sure. Is this true or not? I've been told KSI may very well be the most famous sportsman in England right now. Is that true, Jordy? I, I, I think <laughs> I think him and Anthony Joshua maybe. Yeah, they're definitely uh, they're definitely both on a pedestal right now, and DAZN have both of them under contract. Well, the social media numbers do not lie. Over 50 million followers across YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We've seen AJ, speaking of whom, make his opponents wait before. KSI perhaps doing the same here to the Mexican. He's not actually the uh, embodiment of confidence, is he? Look at that face. Yeah, he, uh, he looks a bit like Daniel LaRusso out of uh, Karate Kid. <laughs> if Miyagi turns up, we know we're in for a, a, a shock. Because if done correctly, no can defend me. He's definitely in his head right now. AJ with a costume change going for, uh, sorry, KSI with a costume change going for that AJ look. And now, making his entrance to the ring for the second time in one night, ladies and gentlemen, the Nightmare KSI!
Ladies and gentlemen, from the world famous London O2 Arena, Callis Alloran, on behalf of Misfits Boxing, proudly presents live on the zone the main event of the evening. Three scheduled rounds for the ICB World Cruiserweight Championship. Sponsored by Dual Bits and Prime Hydrate. Sanctioned by the PBA, Professional Boxing Association. Supervisor from the Boxing Hall of Fame, Mickey Van. Timekeeper at the bell, Peter McCann. The three judges scoring from ringside will be Seamus Dunn, Jack Goodwin, and Gareth Morris. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Ken Curtis. And now, the officials are in place, and they are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. Boxing fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance here at the sold out O2 Arena London, and the millions watching around the world live on DAZN. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with red trim, and officially weighing in at 179 pounds. He stands six feet three inches, and he's a seven-fight veteran boxer. Tonight, he's looking to make his mark in the sport Thomas y Caballeros de Evalmes en Nuevo México, el flaco de oro, Luis Alcaraz Pineda. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, standing six feet tall and officially weighing in at 179.9 pounds. As a professional, he now has two victories without a loss. He's the YouTube megastar, promoter, producer, entrepreneur, recording star from London, England, the undefeated fighter known as the Nightmare, K. You both know the rules, so when I say break, you stop boxing, take a step back. In the event of a boxer going down, the other one goes to a neutral corner, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands.
Amazing, absolutely amazing. That that intro, he's coming out to his song that's like number one in the charts right now. Two fights, two nights. Excuse me, two fights, one night. I mean, this is just amazing. The people who know JJ best know that this ain't the first time he's done two in one night. Here we go. KSI, <laughs> we're in the white gloves. Nice Ooh, yeah. in the red, and KSI's coming out, guns blazing. JJ is really going to work early uh -oh. and just wanted uh -oh. to mow this guy. Uh -oh. He hit him with a oh. throw, he's down! Put he's down! For Pinero, he's claiming, Pineda is claiming back of the head. He gets They're standing it. It is a knockdown. I think it was a body shot that hurt Pineda. Either way, Pineda down before you can blink your eyes. He's got to establish the jab. He took oh, another body, body shot. shot hurt Big oh my god, he's down again. That wasn't a back of the head shot. It was not a back of the head shot. That was on the side of the head. I could see it from the where power it. from KSI. Who knew that Swarms was going to look better than Pineda? I'm not surprised. Here we go. KSI looking to close the show as Pineda takes a knee. Those body shots are making his face grimace. So those, JJ's been working hard on those. He's not wasting no time in getting to work here. Let's see if Pineda will throw a punch. There it is, and he just got countered oh, hard. Jesus. The power of, it, of J, uh, JJ compared to Pineda. Oh. Yeah, Pineda needs to quit complaining and start punching. This is the fight game. Defend yourself at all times. And the body shots. That's it, mate. He's given up. He's given up, mate. It's over. He's given up. What are we doing here? This is ridiculous. Pineda needs to do something besides whine and complain. Mate, I think we found the only uh, soft Mexican in the world here. <laughs> I think... What on earth? He's, I think he's overwhelmed by the moment, guys. I think he's just in too deep. Mate, unfortunately, this is what happens when you get opponents who are in no way ready for this level. Oh, my God. Oh, this on. is embarrassing. What is going here. on? The, the problem is the two worst opponents of the night came in KSI's fights. And if we're, that's, that's oh. the two. This guy just doesn't belong here. Mate, get him out of there, man. I believe that's three knockdowns. Mate, we've had Fousey taking an absolute battering. FaZe Temper taking a battering like a man. Both of them took it like a man. They tried their heart out. This guy is in here for a quick payday to get the hell out of this country. Well, apparently he's going to take a few more punches. I think KSI is just as embarrassed as anybody. He was hoping this guy would at Man. least put up a fight. Right. Whoever organized this, I'm sorry, like, but you need fired. Well, he survives the first round. Cap calling for that back of the head. <laughs> Were you seeing it? Man, Michael Buffer had a harder job pronouncing Pineda's name than KSI had in fighting Pineda. Sorry, like, this kid. Anyone, anyone would take bets on if this makes it out of round two? <laughs> well, it shouldn't have made it out of round one. I don't know what the referee is playing at, to be honest, because he clearly gave up multiple times. Those are legal body shots. Yeah. Right. And that's going to happen. That wasn't a flush shot behind the head. When you duck your head into your opponent, that's going to happen. That is a legal, clean body shot. I exactly. I'm not sure what he's calling. And he thought that was behind the head, but it wasn't. <laughs> the only professional fighter on the card is the one acting least professional. Mm. That's why being a professional fighter means nothing. In reality, it means nothing. Mate, what are you doing? He's the pro. I'm trying to explain to him. Tagged him good there. Yeah, hey, give KSI credit. He's found the weakness and it continues to exploit it. 
KSI is on another level for sure. Yeah, I've never seen him like this either. It's just. Ooh. Well, get your shots in, Pineda. At least do that. Boy, KSI. <laughs> At least have fun, KSI. Put on some entertainment. Uh, Pineda's not even trying. Yeah, they... Okay. He threw a job. He landed a job. Oh, just grazed the temple to KSI. Boy, Pineda did a lot of treadmill running preparation for this fight, it looks but like. This is what he should be doing. I thought he'd be on his bike a bit more. But, oh, oh, down. No complaint in that on, time. Referee. Right on the temple. Oh, I mean, how many knockdowns do we need? Well, we had knockdowns. We had kneeling. He's up. But for how long? His nickname literally means golden skinny guy. <laughs> I don't know about the golden part. Look at the running. The awkward thing is for JJ, the longer this goes on, the more frustrating it can be. Right, JJ's trying to get that moment. Yeah, he wants the highlight. Pineda just wants to get out of here. Yeah, he's on his bike. No business. Oh. oh, good shot from JJ. Left hook hurts him. Into the body, he's down oh, again. Call it, call it, surely. Call it. This referee, he's a glutton for punishment. It's KSI doing oh. push ups. KSI doing push ups. Wow. This referee is like a, a, a sergeant in the Marines. He just wants to say pain. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Wow. Well, hey, Pineda's not running, at least for a second. Sorry. Nate, Chris rest. Eubank Jr. having a laugh. So when we call him a professional boxer, we use that term very loosely. Ooh. Nice rip shot. Body shot from JJ. And oh, he's got him. Uppercut. Throws the right hand. Complaining about the back of the head. But he how makes did, it out in the second make round. It to the third wow. round. Unbelievable. Wow. What? If you were KSI right now, what would you try and achieve here in the third round besides just chasing him around the well, ring? Well, this is cut and mouse, right? And, and in like any situation like that, you have to corner him. You have to get him into the, into the ropes and unload on him and make it impossible for him. And body shots are, are working. He, he, well, I mean, he is just destroying this guy. It's just a matter of time, but you just have to corner him. Yeah. But he's now got the end of the fight in sight. Yeah. KSI wants a challenge. There oh, it is. boom, boom. Down he goes. Referee, just stop it. Is there a 12? He's knockdown? shaking his head, ref. <laughs> Anthony Joshua will stop for less than this against Ruiz, if we're being honest. Hey, Denji would have beat this guy. Right. Easily. I mean, I think any fighter on this card would have beat them. I believe that. Yeah. Good uppercut. Brilliant uppercut. What is the... This guy is complaining so much, it's bizarre. Yeah. Man. It, it, You're a pro he's, fighter. He stuck in one of those... It's all over. And then caught it. There we go. Finally, finally. How many knockdowns does it take? KSI wins two fights and one oh, night. On <laughs> real, that lasted that long. And now he turns his attention, perhaps, to Jake Paul.
Well, it wasn't the fight of the night, thanks in all part to Pineda, who didn't come to fight. He came to run, he came to complain, he came to pick up a paycheck. Well, we saw a new Deji tonight. We saw a new KSI. I mean, these people are getting through these levels, and KSI has been saying it over and over again. I'm on a different level, and there's proof tonight. And there's the brotherly love. Three wins from the two brothers tonight. Both of them leveling up. True Jordy in the ring. He'll speak with KSI momentarily. It's a shame out of the eight fights on the card, the main event was the worst one, or at least the least entertaining. But that doesn't take away from what KSI has done.